we are going to meet the bag ladies. Just filled with toiletries and hope in the bag for you, okay? All right, thank you. God bless you. I just came up five minutes, less than five minutes ago. And then she came up and said, we got one here with you. Thank you. A couple of women that volunteer at the support center uh, were early in recovery, and some that were in long-term recovery. We wanted to do some other ways to give back. As the weather changes, we're trying to focus on um, people to donate some warm items. I can't keep what I have and just keep it for myself. I gotta give it away. It's a pleasure. It's a feeling I can't even describe. Like all these voids that I thought needed to be filled, you know, they don't need to be filled with just giving away and making somebody else smile and making somebody else happy and just maybe just knowing that you fed somebody maybe for a couple of hours. You know, it's the small things that, that make me feel uh, wonderful. This is all the information to help people to save a life and then the cards for the substance use helpline just to pass out in the community. The Substance Use Helpline has taken the edge off of getting help, seeking treatment and knowledge. Just a 1-800, it's just so easy. You can get your questions answered. I don't have to like stay on hold. You don't have to speak to a, a automated system. It's a live person. They have access to beds where they're available. Excuse me, ladies. We can actually, we got a whole bunch of homeless folks right in the parking lot, right sitting here. here behind the van trying to keep warm. Let's get some bags. We hope that we can help lift someone's spirit, help them feel better, and give them a smile. You're still worthy. You know, you still can turn your life around. You still have an opportunity and a chance. Um, you're still alive. My name is Stella, and I'm a woman in long-term recovery, and I'm happy, and I feel blessed, and I'm so grateful, and I will continue to spread the message of hope.